Shalom. This is uh, video number four in Ask the Rabbi series. I'll just tell you the questions first, and then I'll give you the answers. Is Ryan Braun, who, the Jew uh, who won the uh, Most Valuable Player, is he actually Jewish? I want to know, do Jews believe in Satan? Somebody wanted to know about Talmud study. First, what book would I recommend that uh, summarizes the Talmud? And then, uh, how do you engage in Talmud study? Somebody wanted to know how you get kosher meat and food delivered if you live in a place where there's no other Jews and the stores won't carry it. Uh, conservative uh, Judaism in Israel. Somebody wanted to know where they saw conservative Jews all driving to a wedding. Uh, Ofrof on Shabbat, and is that allowed? Um, somebody wanted to know about uh, why I suggested in some of the videos that Christianity had a role to play in the Holocaust. Somebody wanted to know if you convert to Judaism and then you have a child, the mother, is the child then Jewish or does it need to convert? Uh, a filmmaker is doing a, a film on Kabbalah and evil. Wanted to know if there are any specific prayers or incantations that Jews use to ward off evil in the mystical tradition. And finally, there's a passage in Jeremiah which, uh, in English translation, talks about a new covenant. And uh, what do we say about that? And what do we say about passages in the New Testament that seem to suggest that uh, there's going to be a, uh, a new uh, messianic figure and the, it will be rejected by his own people. Okay, lots of questions and uh, kind of classic questions, so let me get to it. First of all, Ryan Braun, believe in my research that his mother was Catholic. He considers himself Jewish, though he played uh, Yom Kippur. Um, but uh, if you go to my uh, blog, rabbireflex.blogspot.com, I have answers to all of these and more details about that. So his mother's not Jewish, so technically he's not Jewish, but he considers himself Jewish, although not that involved. He's called the Hebrew Hammer, and he's definitely uh, been embraced by some of the Jewish community as a, a Jewish sports hero. Jews do Jews believe in Satan? I have a video on that specifically, Devil and Satan. Basic answer is that the Bible does have refer to Satan, especially in the book of Job and a few other places. Uh, in the mystical tradition, Satan does exist uh, on the periphery, but in mainline Judaism, there's no notion at all of any power other than God. Isaiah says clearly God creates evil. That uh, God, in other words, God's responsible for everything in the world, and there's no power that's forcing us to do anything against our will. That comes from inside us, uh, and you can see my video on the evil inclination, uh, evil and good, but to help explain that. Then somebody wanted to know about uh, Talmud study. The book I recommend uh, by a rabbi named Cohn called Every Man's Talmud, which summarizes some of the essential views of the Talmud on main subjects. If you want to do Talmud study, the best series in English now is by Steinzaltz. You can see it on Amazon. I also have the source on my blog. Um, it's very hard to do Talmud study on your own without a teacher. Uh, there are some sites that can help with that, but that's the best way to do it, with to get a volume of Steinzaltz. Uh, then, somebody wanted to know about kosher meat delivery. Yes, there are services that will even FedEx kosher food. Uh, they package it somehow, and you can, um, I have it, the source on my site, where you can get it on my blog. Uh, but there is a way to get kosher food. Now, there's a lot of varieties of kosher, of course, and uh, everyone who says um, that uh, if they, somebody's less observant, that they're not keeping kosher at all, and if they're more observant, they're fanatics, no matter where, where you are on the scale. So, recommend um, a lot of products now carried in regular grocery stores have kosher symbols. OUs or CRCs or be, just because a lot of brands are kosher now to capture the kosher market. So, check that. Of course, fruits and vegetables don't need any um, kosher mark. Um, conservative movements as milk doesn't, uh, tuna doesn't. Uh, it's just really, and stay away from forbidden foods altogether. And then it's just a question of chicken and meat. And... Uh, you know, sometimes stores will carry Empire products or kosher hot dogs. So check on that. And then for um, getting meat delivered, a lot of people are eating less meat anyway, so it's not that difficult. Check into the sites where you can get meat delivered. And what about Christianity and the Holocaust? Somebody watched my Jews Not for Jesus series and said I suggested that the, there was some complicity with Christianity. Well, there I have on my blog a long article by South... Um, Friedlander, who's a Holocaust uh, scholar about this issue, I think it's hard to deny the role of Christianity. Now, I'm not saying Christians today are responsible for the Holocaust, but first of all, you have to look at 2,000 years of uh, Christian anti-Semitism. You have to look at Luther 
the was, Germany was a Lutheran country, pretty much, uh, in his anti-Semitism. Uh, then you have to look at the silence of the churches, basically, the Pope and the churches. And then you have to look at the fact that a lot of the top Nazi leadership were church-going Christians, very devout. Uh, certainly numb the, the bystanders of Germany to silence. Uh, where was the moral outrage there that Christianity should foster? What was the point of, of religion if uh, they allow six million Jews to be exterminated and the churches basically do nothing? They're worried about their property um, and, the, and the ministers going to jail or, you know, getting... I mean, w of course Christianity had a role to play there. Uh, it's impossible to deny and not to say that Christianity today is the same. We're post-Vatican II today. Many of the Christian denominations have, have renounced their anti-Semitism of the past. Uh, some of the most uh, pro-Israel people are coming from the evangelical Christian world. There's been a sea change, I believe, in certain to, at least among certain Christians. Although anti-Semitism still remains to be a problem. Then somebody said if the woman converts to Judaism, is the child born after they're Jewish? Of course. Doesn't need any further conversion. And then what about uh, this fellow making a movie about uh, uh, Kabbalists and uh, evil? So on my blog, I have an answer to that question too uh, in detail. But basically there are two responses. One is that there's this tradition of a golem. If you go to Prague in the Old Noy Synagogue upstairs, they say there's this legend of this um, kind of Frankenstein-like creature that's made out of dust and earth. Even in, in X Files, which was a uh, popular American television show, had a uh, story about story about this that was created uh, to protect Jews. A legendary mythological story. And then there's a lot of incantations. Some of Psalms were used as uh, protection amulets. Uh, the mezuzah was, is not to protect us against evil, but some Jews uh, viewed it that way. Wore certain kinds of symbols. Uh, the certain prayers that were done to ward away evil in the mystical tradition. And finally, we get the question again from Christians who want to think that, that, uh, they, that our, the Hebrew Bible somehow predicts their God and their religion, which is a complete nonsense in our opinion. They want to believe it, fine. Uh, they have this verse from Jeremiah that talks about a new covenant. Well, first of all, the word chadash we use the word, word Rosh Chodesh, new moon. It doesn't mean that it's a brand new moon. In the sense it's a renewal cycle. Um, and the, the Jeremiah there is clearly talking about a renewal. And he specifically says the law has to be observed. Um, if you read the prophets in context, it's clear they're never saying ever abandon the law. Any uh, verse you pull out of there is a completely misconstrued. Uh, in addition, in addition he, the guy asked me, well, what about this, the prophets who predict uh, that the, there'll be a new Messiah that will be rejected by the people? Well, the, the idea of rejection of God is constant in the Bible, and God keeps, it's like Hosea uh, projects Israel as a whoring wife that keeps taking back. And God wants Israel to come back all the time to the law and to the system of God. If God was going to predict Jesus, it would have said Jesus. It doesn't say that anywhere. And the verses that Matthew quotes in the Gospels, as I mentioned extensively in my videos uh, Jews not for Jesus, are, uh, don't say what they, they think they say. Uh, if you go back to the original Hebrew, for example, that famous verse in uh, Isaiah about a virgin, it doesn't say virgin, it says a young woman. It's mistranslated from the Septuagint. Uh, so if you give me specifics, I can show you every single uh, verse and how it's misunderstood uh, by Christians to, to, uh, think that, to imagine that it's a, a new a Messiah. But, of course, they want to believe it doesn't hurt anybody, as long as they don't kill us because of our belief. They want to believe, as long as they behave themselves and act honorably and decently and holy and righteously uh, and coexist with other people that don't believe the way they do. Um, anyway, those are my answers this week to uh, Ask the Rabbi. Uh, please send me your questions at rabbi at ehnt.org for our next installment.